All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So yesterday, Robert Sala spoke to the media and did not have an update regarding Makai Becton's health, his knee, his injured knee. Okay, now, as we all know, Makai Becton got hurt back in week one against the Carolina Panthers, dislocated a kneecap, and it was initially reported by uh, Adam Schefter that he was going to be missing anywhere from four to six, four to seven weeks. But that was back in week one, and we're now entering week 16. So for Robert Sala to say he has no update, it is, uh, to be honest with you, for me, it's quite concerning. I mean, back in week seven, Sala said that it should only be a couple more weeks, but man, I, I gotta be honest, I'm looking at this injury right now as a potential season ender. Okay, it's not like Makai Becton is, is out there practicing and he's, you know, going with the ones and whatnot. That's not the case here. Okay, so if we look back to last season, right, with Adam Gase, Mekhi Becton's first season in the NFL, he played in 14 games. Okay, so that is a positive sign. You look at what he did at Louisville, 2018, he played in all 13 games, 2017, 10 games. It's not like Becton's one of these guys that's only playing in three games a season or four games a year or you know he's only good for you know a handful of weeks it, it hasn't really been the case but this season it's been a complete disaster back in the offseason Becton was dealing with the plantar fasciitis in his foot missing a pretty good chunk of time he comes back from that ends up sustaining a uh, concussion missing two weeks of practice and then of course as we all know gets hurt in week one against the Panthers with the uh, with the kneecap dislocation okay so the injuries have been brutal this season for not only just Becton but for for the entire Jets team. I mean, we can go down the list of how many injuries this team has. It is unreal. Absolutely unbelievable. Linebackers, corners, safeties. Uh, I mean, it, it, wide receivers, running backs. I mean, it has been crazy with the amount of hurt players on this Jets roster. But circling back to Becton here, this is my take. Okay, and I would love to hear your take down below in the comment section. I feel like it's going to be really uh, interesting to see where everybody kind of stands on Becton's injury status. But if the decision was up to me, if it was my choice to make, I think I would play it safe. I would make a long-term move and shut Makai Becton down for the season. I, I, I know it sucks to say it because Makai Becton is young. He's in year two. He's in a brand new offense. I want to get Becton something on tape you know, going into next season, so he's not just completely, you know, completely inexperienced uh, going into year three, but I feel like it's just too risky at this point. I mean, two injuries to, to the lower body. We're, we're a 3-11 football team. George Fan has been playing some pretty good football. Morgan Moses on the right side has obviously been playing some good football as well. Uh, I, I just feel like it's too risky to rush Makai Becton back. I don't want to see a possible re-aggravation. I don't want to see him out there if he's 90% 90, 90 ready to go. Obviously, his rehab and what he needs to do to come back and be not only just a productive player, but a healthy player has far exceeded the initial timetable of coming back. Okay, so for me, I just don't want to rush into it. Makai Becton is supposed to be a long term piece. I love Becton. I love how violent and aggressive he is. I love how he goes out and tries to attack defensive ends, tries to humiliate them. I love how dominant he is in the running game. I mean, his size, his speed, his athletic ability, it's all there. I mean, he is such an intriguing prospect. I don't want to take a valuable asset on the offensive line playing left tackle, a guy who I envision being on this Jets team for at least the next 10 seasons. I don't want to take a guy like that and force him back into the lineup or try to rush him to get him ready to get back into the game. I mean, we only have three games left. It's arguably a lost season at this point. We're 3-11. We got the Jaguars, Bucks, and Bills. Again, I think Fant and Moses are fine at the tackle positions. I would shut Becton down. I would say, you know what? Don't try to rush back. Take as much time as you need to be healthy by the start of 2022 by camp. Okay, so that's just my take. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong or anything like that, but I would love to hear your take down below in the comment section and really where you stand. So super concerning, super um, disappointing that there is still no update in week 16. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the uh, what the future holds, hopefully sooner rather than later. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.